In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can set up your Everbee store for print on demand. And what that means specifically is integrating with Printify. So I've logged into my Everbee store. Here I've got zenwatercooler.myeverbee.com. That's my domain name. And I've just logged into Printify, but I don't have any store set up. When you see my new store here on the left-hand side, I don't have any stores. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is on my Everbee store, I'm gonna go down here to apps on the left-hand side. And I'm going to see under my apps, I don't have anything installed. So over on the right, there's an app market. I'm gonna click on that little tab and we can see there's a couple different apps that exist. I'm gonna click on the install for Printify. And everybody's gonna tell me it needs access to these things. So I'm going to click approve. And now it's going to ask me to connect to Printify. So make sure that you're logged in to Printify and click connect. So just make sure that you've got Printify open and it's like an active website. It hasn't logged itself out or anything. And then you've got in the Everbee store, you're going to click allow, and these two programs are gonna talk to each other. Okay, so now I'm inside of Everbee, inside the Everbee app, and you'll see I don't have any products. So I'm just gonna go back here to the dashboard for a second, and we'll see if I go under products, and, and then I go to underneath products, there's a products and collections. I'm gonna click on products. All of my digital designs that I've got so far on my website are there. So your products are there, but I don't have any print on demand products. So what you wanna do is scroll down to the left-hand side and go under the Printify app. And now I'm going to see I don't have any products. So you haven't lost your digital downloads. They're just sitting here outside of the Printify app. So inside the Everbee store, inside the Printify app, I don't have any products published. But we're gonna change that. So I'm gonna go into Printify now and I'm going to create a new product. So I'm gonna click here on the left-hand side inside of Printify, my products. We'll see we don't have any products yet and I'm going to create a product. So it's pretty easy to do here. I'm gonna click this browse product button right here and I'm gonna keep it simple in this video. I'm just gonna create a t-shirt. So I'm gonna click on t-shirts. I'm gonna use this Gildan 5000. I like this one. We're gonna click start designing and now I have a nice blank t-shirt. So I'm just gonna close this out here and I'm going to upload my design on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna click upload, and then I'm going to pick an image from my device. Okay, and there is my image. I'm just gonna center it here on the t-shirt. I'm just gonna have one color, and I'm going to close this little box out. And we can see that this looks pretty good. I'm going to click save product now. And now we're inside the mockups, and we can see there's a whole bunch of mockups selected. You can see, in fact, it says 35 selected down below. Your number might say 70 or whatever the defaults are. I'm going to click clear all. I'm just gonna have one simple mockup here on the front and I'll click Save Selection. And then now I can put in my actual listing information. So I've got Astronaut Cat T. Now this has all been generated with AI. So you might see something here that's very vanilla and you might wanna tweak it yourself. For example, I've typed in Astronaut Cat here in the listing. Obviously you'd create a nice looking listing with lots of cool keywords. As I scroll on down, you're gonna see the pricing. You wanna make sure that you've got a profit margin set up. So here I've got 40%. You can also edit the price right there. You've also got settings right here. So you can go in and you can edit those. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Here's the important part though. When you're down at the bottom, do not, I repeat, do not click publish. What you wanna do instead is save as draft. So I'm going to click save as draft. So quick recap, we're inside Printify. We've created a t-shirt design. We have not published it. Now I'm going to go over to the Everbee shop and inside my Everbee store, Inside my Printify app, I'm going to click this button right here, Fetch All Updates. And we'll see just like that, one t-shirt has been imported, eight variants, which is the different sizes. And now I wanna click Publish to Store right here. It'll say, are you sure you wanna publish? I'll say, absolutely, I'll click the Publish button. And now we can see it's publishing. And now this is live on my Everbee shop. When I go onto my Zen water cooler Everbee store, I scroll on down, and just like that, we can see the astronaut cat T is sitting right here. I click on it, we've got our one thumbnail only, we've got our one color only, and we've got the eight different options, the different sizes, there's our eight variants. So if you wanna edit this now, I'm inside of Printify, I'm gonna click on the listing, and it's going to pop up with the mock-up, it's gonna pop up with the listing title. So I'm going to update this listing title just to show you that you can do this. I'm gonna type in Zen Water Cooler Astronaut Cat T, and I'm going to click Save as Draft. Again, really important, you do not publish this when you're inside of Printify. I'm gonna click Save as Draft. We'll see now that the listing itself has been changed, 
the listing title now says Zen Water Cooler. I do not want to publish this. I just want to leave this unpublished inside of Printify. Go back into my Everbee store and click Fetch All Updates. And we'll see now it's importing the new Zen Water Cooler Astronaut T because I've updated the listing title. And now I'll click Publish Changes. It'll say, what would you like to change? I just leave all this on because I haven't really changed the other things, but I've just updated the listing title. And now we can see product published successfully. I'll go back to my Zen Water Cooler page. I'm gonna click the refresh button on my web browser and we can see now it's updated in real time Zen Water Cooler Astronaut Cat T. And that's it. Just make sure that when you're inside of your Everbee store, you're publishing your products. And when you're inside Printify, you're saving as drafts. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using the Everbee store. You can sell digital downloads, print on demand goods, even subscriptions or physical products. I'll put a link to Everbee in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. And that just means if you click on the link and you purchase Everbee, I would receive a small commission. I recommend Everbee for selling all sorts of products. Here's another video where you can have some fun in the world of Everbee.